Mr. Hill? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. I apologize. I, I just missed your call. Um, so I assume it's a, it's a good time now? Yeah, so um, I do have my partner um, with me right now, uh, Chris, and I know that you have some questions regarding um, uh, uh, the first offer, so uh, you'll be able to uh, better explain as far as the process and answer any questions that you may have. Okay. Hi there, uh, Mr. Harrell. How are you today? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Did you enjoy that dinner? I know that's right. I haven't eaten yet, so I'll be eating later on. So, um, yeah, she was telling me about the house here that you were looking to sell, and uh, we were looking at it, and it seems like everything's, uh, we probably can work something out with you here so we can uh, actually buy your house. Um, I did want to know, about how long has the house been vacant for? Okay, so you did all those renovations and things yourself? Oh, okay. I want to say you did a really good job on it. Oh, okay. I was just going to let you know. It looked like you all did a really good job with it. Right. So, um, and so, like I said, Virginia was telling me that you were interested in uh, some type of terms deal that we can work out. Um, the only thing I need to make sure uh, about how much did you still owe on the house? So basically, um, what we would do is buy your house. We would actually close through a real estate attorney so that you're protected in the deal. Everything's in writing and disclosed to you. Um, we would basically buy the house, be responsible for all of the maintenance and repairs of the house going forward. You would not have to deal with any tenants, toilet repairs, termites, any type of things dealing with that house. And uh, basically, we would set it up to where all you would do is collect a check. So it's a lot a lot better than dealing with, you know, traditional renters and things like that. You, the house would actually be, uh, you, you wouldn't have to do anything for the house at all. So it's actually a better situation in most cases. So that's why I was just asking about, you know, the debt on it, because the way we would have to structure the deal would have to be structured around the existing debt that's in place. Does that make sense? Um, why does debt matter? Because if we were able to do something like that, then we would have to structure the deal around the debt. When they, when we put the deal into the real estate attorney, we have to put in something to show how we're going to buy the house. So those, those are just facts of the house. You know what I mean? It's not like it's a, you know, a big secret or anything. But I'm just saying for it to work, as far as a creative deal like this, we have to get that information so that we can make sure that it's covering the debt one, and also that everything makes sense on your end and our end, so that we can make the deal work. Well, one of the things that, that was unknown to me is what type of payments are you talking about and how long for, or how long are you talking about? Yeah, so we can work that out. That's not a problem. Um, and so you wanted, let's see, 84900 for it. Is that correct? Yeah. 
So that's why I say we can we can actually pay. Right. So that's actually the reason why we can pay a little bit more than most people, because I'm not sure what type of offers you've already received. Um, I'm pretty sure they were lower than, you know, what we would offer. And the reason we can offer that is because we would be buying it over a period of time. Um, so as far as a monthly payment, what is the lowest you think you could accept on a monthly payment? Six hundred. So six hundred per month. So six hundred dollars per month. Okay. And then, as far as timing, what is the longest you think you can give as far as timing? Actually, we take full responsibility for everything with the house. The only thing is the loan will stay in your name temporarily for a period of time until we get it cashed out. So that's the only thing. Other than that, when it comes to the maintenance, repairs, um, dealing with tenants or anything like that, you don't have to deal with any of that. We relieve you of all the repairs and everything in regards to the house. So if, you get, if we get a leaky faucet next year, you won't get a call from us. We fix it. Okay, what, 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 what are you doing now? What are you sending for you and now that's it? Uh, because we're... Yes, I understand that. I consider it because I get people calling me all the time when you consider it rent net. And I've never lived in the house, but yet I've owned it since 2009. I've never lived in the house, but if I would have a tenant in the house. Mm. It's just I'm, I'm just getting out of the land of business. Yeah, that's not a good business to be in. We got out of the landlord business about five years ago. So, yeah, I can understand that. So what I would say, uh, so basically what we do is we work with people who are looking to qualify for a loan and go get a mortgage. Now, they may need time on the job. They might have a debt-to-income ratio problem, or their credit score may not be high enough right now. But with a little bit of help from us, we can actually help them get qualified to get their own mortgage, go cash it out, get your, your mortgage paid off, you paid off, and us paid off. And, the whole, and, and during that whole time, you don't have to deal with that house at all. So we deal with everything in regards to that. We set all of that up where you don't have to do anything. Oh, I understand that need for that because one, I do for not qualifying for a mess, and the second one is time on the job, so... Right. So in, so in the meantime, instead of having, you know, a vacant house just sitting, you know, we like I said, we try to work to get somebody in there that would actually qualify for a loan and get it cashed out eventually over a period of time after working with us and get the whole deal cashed out, you know, in the near future if possible. So that's how we're able to do something on it. We're going to sell it for more than we buy it for you from because we're, going, we're buying it on terms just like you're selling it to us on terms. So is that something you would be interested in? Well, I mean, I can't remember the last time we did less than 15 years, but, you know, what's the longest you think you can give? Oh, that's right. I don't, really don't want to do 15 years. Like I said, I'm trying to release it. Clear. So what is the longest you think you can give? So, no, we're not looking to lease your property. We're looking to actually buy your property. So, like I said, we were close to a real estate attorney. Everything would be just like a traditional home sale. Uh, the only thing is the loan will stay in your name temporarily until sometime in the future. That's the only difference in this sale. And like I say, we would take responsibility for all of the maintenance, repairs, and tenants and things and going on into the future where you don't have to deal with it and you don't have to be a landlord at all. 
You have no responsibility, and really, you have no risk. It's actually better than being a landlord. Right. So we would be. So yeah, we're actually looking to buy the house. So it's not. We're not looking to lease it. We're looking to buy it. Well, I just said the longest I, I mean, I can't remember the last time we did less than 15 years. That doesn't mean we have to do 15 years. And that's why I asked, what is the longest you think you can give? Oh, okay. Is she around now, your wife? Yeah, so we can set we can set everything up pretty easily, like I said, and so we can structure the deal any way to make sense for you you and us. So we want to make it a win win situation where you all are happy with everything and we're happy with everything, and we can get this house sold in a timely manner, and you don't have to deal with it any more at all. You don't have to have anybody else calling asking about leasing it or any of that stuff anymore. That whole thing will be gone away, gone with the wind. Wouldn't that be a better position? Yeah, so the big picture is you won't have this house to, you won't have to pay any mortgages anymore. You won't have to worry about anybody else calling you about buying the house or leasing the house or any of that stuff. You won't have to deal with any maintenance, repairs, or anything going forward with the house whatsoever. You won't even get a call from us. The next call you get from us is about telling you we're about to cash it out. We got someone qualified, and you no longer have to um, have the loan in your name anymore. And uh, that's it. I mean, it's really that simple. It makes it, it's actually an easy way to sell your house. A lot of people don't even know they can do that. You know, they, they think that there's only, you know, one or two ways to do it, but that we do a lot of different ways. We look for a solution to actually solve the problem. Okay, that's fine. Did you have any other questions or anything for me before I let you go? And if the it's time it can be, the time frame is possible, it can be, you know, uh, it can be basically, you know, you know, up to 15 years over that, you know, and so this one you should put on that. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can work that out to make it make sense for you all. And so, if it's easier too, tomorrow or whenever you get back with your wife, uh, we, I'll be more than happy to get on the phone and answer her questions as well. Because I know this is a major decision. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to step on anybody's toes or anything like that. So I want to make sure that you know she has all of her questions answered. You have all of your questions answered, and we can move forward with it and uh, get this deal done. Okay. Okay, thank you. Virginia? Yeah. Whoa! What do you think about that caller? Does he sound motivated at all? He sounds unsure. Like, I know he's interested in it, but I think he's, um, I think the biggest thing for him is he's afraid of being liable of anything. Like, he kept saying, like, you know, I just don't want any liability. I just you know, like, I don't want to be responsible. So I guess he kind of feels like if, if he were to do that, if something happens, then it's going to, everything's going to be, you know. And he had to make me, sl he slowed me down a lot. I'm trying to slow down and mirror, but I don't talk that slow. I'm trying to talk slow <laughs> like Mr. <laughs> Harold and la 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 la. <laughs> <laughs>
Monday night, 7 o'clock, getting that brain food. 